behind every gender-confused child out there is a parent failing to fulfil their duties. This mother takes it a step further by publicising every angle of her daughter's transition for views. As always, stick around to the end for the recap, this week's woke news and much, much more. He's excited to be here. Marshall, do you want to do a week four on testosterone? Boys? Um, week four, the same. How are you feeling? The same. Any effects? Anything changing? Not really. Notice how depressed her daughter looks. That's what happens when your mother's desperate for you to be trans and pressures you into transitioning before your brain can even properly develop. Yeah. Any high points? Any good things? Um, not really. Any bad points? Are we struggle busting a little bit with the injection? To like, it's the anxiety of doing it. Yeah. A little bit of a struggle bus. Don't want to talk about it. You don't say. Now. Her child is so obviously uncomfortable with the transition and even more uncomfortable with documenting it on camera. But all that means nothing when your mother's an attention-seeking narcissist. And we're about to even take it up a notch because here's a mother who's literally setting up her biological daughter with her trans son. All right, this is our daughter. <laughs> and our son is going to come out in his cosplay. You're going to watch how red she gets. My Leah, put your cup down. There's only so much coffee. No. Put it, <laughs> my Leah, put it down. Oh. Okay. Go. All right, Sean. My Leah, look. My Leah, look. Now, my Leah, we can't Take see you. Off. My Leah. Take it off. Yep. Look at her ears, dude. <laughs> her ears are so red. Her ears are red as a cake. And back red it goes. <laughs> I give up. Now, if sexualizing her preteen children and cursing in front of them wasn't bad enough, she somehow has the nerve to promote incest and even film it for the internet. If that doesn't get your kids taken away from you these days, then I don't know what will. These next two clips are about to demonstrate even more failed parenting, although I have to warn you, it's a pretty tough watch. Does mommy want to change my poopy diaper? Mm, please, mommy, please. Mm. Please, mommy, I took a poopy. You kicked me, senpai. Uh -huh. How are you back in here? Want to see me do the red again? Red again. What, what's your talent? What's your talent? Just show me your talent. Hurry up. Okay. Yeah. Me, son, yeah, I get at the yeah, it's me, son, yeah. Get... You sound soft. Now, just imagine living through that for 18 years or having your son ask for their poopy diaper changed at the age of 52. Somewhere out there are parents who either didn't care or didn't think there was anything wrong with this and encouraged this behavior. But now, let's take a look at parenting done right. Here's a dad who stood up to his child's school board for teaching graphic books in their classrooms for children as young as 12. And as you might expect, these wacko school board members absolutely hate it when you expose their own personal reading collection. I could. On camera and here in the crowd. I could choose. Mr. Jordan, Mr. Jordan, Jordan you hold up. Mr. put Jordan. that right down. Put that right down. That is inappropriate material for a this forum. Is in our schools, folks. Mr. Jordan. This is in our schools. This is in our school. Mr. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan. And, and you are now sharing down. it publicly with everyone that this has This is a forum that is open to all people of all age groups. That is inappropriate material to bring to this forum. 
If you have a problem with that, I'll ask you to leave. Can I have my time back? You just no. Took, no, 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 you can't. Mr. K Mr. Counselor, he just. You understand what I just right. said? Just, I'm not, you're not the it counselor, is, excuse first, me. Uh, the head chair. Sorry. It, it has now been paused. The time has now been restarted. Thank you. you have three minutes and, and 10 and, seconds. And this doesn't concern you as, as parents? Really? You think this is appropriate when the author of this book clearly stated it was for 18 kids? There's no freshman, no sophomore no junior that is 18 years old. And you're okay with this? And you're telling me not to show it to our community. But our school says it's okay to have for our kids? So the school board asked him to put the book down because it's inappropriate in a room full of adults, but don't see an issue with teaching it to middle schoolers. None of this makes any sense. If you want another example of parenting done right, here's a father who rightfully calls out his son's doctor. Just watch. I'm literally on fire right now. I just got off the phone with my wife, who took my nine and seven year old boys to the doctor today to get physicals for tackle football and school next year and all that other shit. The first, my nine year old son went in first, and the first thing this woman asks him is if he identifies as a boy, a girl, gender fluid, or non binary. My son, he's never heard of any of that shit before you've been dealing with him your whole life he is clearly a boy's boy so what are you trying to plant a seed in his head I, the only thing i could be thankful for is that my wife took them instead of me and props to my wife because she said something and if she didn't they would ask my seven-year-old son the same damn question is ridiculous and to the people out there to think that there's nothing wrong with that and I'm just a, a, a transphobe or all that you this is and there's something wrong with you now let me know what you guys think but I don't see any reason why a doctor should be saying these things to a child who probably doesn't even understand these concepts the sad thing is I would actually make a guess that the doctor previously got in trouble with a few woke parents for not asking the kid their gender first. And fast forward a few years, here's how those same indoctrinated kids conduct themselves at their local liberal arts university. This girl right there is the AMSOS flyer. Oh, you're so sensitive. Finally, we wrap up today with this woman reacting to getting misgendered by a FedEx employee. But plot twist, she's not the crazy triggered leftist you think she is. I was just misgendered in my local FedEx. The woman behind the counter asked her coworker, did you help that guy yet? And after further observation, she goes, or lady. See, immediately, my thoughts were, cancel this woman. Ruin her entire life because she called me what I look like. Just kidding. That's what y'all would do. I, on the other hand, am aware that I look like a guy. Look at me. Am I a guy? Nope, just a dyke. <coughs> but this is your message. If you look like a guy, they're going to call you a guy. If you look like a chick, they're going to call you a chick, regardless of what you identify as. Finally, something we can agree on. <laughs> She had us all in the first half, but you can tell she was raised properly by her parents. And we need a lot more people with thick skin like her, unlike some of the whiny, easily triggered, or straight up embarrassing kids that we saw earlier. And it's tough because as a parent, you can do everything right and still end up with the latter, especially in this day and age where children are bombarded with woke ideology left and right. But I'm pretty sure if every parent spread the right message and stood up to the wackos of the world, we'd see a lot less nutcases in the next generation. Now some good news for everyone. Last week I mentioned that California-based Glassbrook Elementary School had received criticism for paying $250,000 to a consulting firm named Woke Kindergarten to teach their instructors on how to confront white supremacy as well as disrupt racism and oppression. I brought it up because it seemed like a ridiculous waste of federal funds. 
and the complete opposite of what our education system should focus on for our kids. Well, it seems a lot of media outlets picked the story up because the national backlash was so loud and swift, the school actually terminated the contract with Woke Kindergarten as of this morning. So before you say the battle is lost for our next generation, just remember what happens when people actually speak out for their kids. As always, thanks for supporting this channel and I'll see you all next week.